of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who chose the mother of your Son to be our mother also, grant us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may further more effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever in death. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too had accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained to, to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa, when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, Get up, Peter. Slaughter and eat. But I said, Certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But a second time a voice from heaven answered, What God has made clean, you are not to call it profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angel standing in his house, saying, Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is called Peter, who will speak words to you by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us, when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thank you. Thanks be to God. Our response for our song, A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. As the hind longs for running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall link me on and bring me to the holy mountain, to your dwelling place. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Then will I go to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the heart, O oh God, my God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all of his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus again said, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved, and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they may have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. Today the church remembers the apparition of Our Lady to the three children, uh, Francesco, Maria, and Jacinta at uh, Fatima. And today we honor Mary under the title of Our Lady of Fatima. Now you can look up information about Fatima, the most famous thing is the miracle of the sun that occurred and was witnessed by around 70,000 individuals. But I, I would like to just take a moment and look at it a little differently. First, Often I have heard people say, well, why do we need to uh, honor Mary with these apparitions? Now, first off, we don't need to do that. It's a choice. You can uh, hold to Fatima or Lourdes or Guadalupe, the big three in my estimation, but you don't necessarily have to, to still be a good Catholic as long as you're following what the church teaches and preaches and believes. But I wonder why not? Because could God allow his mother to exercise her eternal care for her children? Think about that for a second. This is God we're talking about. If he wants to change water into wine, can he do it? Yes. If he wants to walk on water, can he do it? Yes. If he wants to have an older woman who has been up until that stage of her life barren, if he wants her to have a child, can he do it? Yes. If he wants a child to be born from a virgin, can he do it? Yes. So if he wants to allow his mother to come and to appear and to remind us through her maternal care to 
return to her son to pray, to do penance, could he do that? Yes. And what was the message of Fatima? Pray, do penance. Too often people want to fantasize about the secrets of Fatima and especially that third secret that was kept uh, a secret for, gosh, for a very, very long time until Pope John Paul II commissioned, well, St. Pope John Paul II commissioned it to be proclaimed. Uh, they want to fantasize about how, oh, that's about all kinds of wars in the book of Revelation and et cetera and so forth. But we miss the point. What does Mary tell us? Return to God. Dedicate yourself to Him. Do what He asks of you. Pray. Do penance. It's real, real, pretty much a simple message. Okay. So today, as we go about our daily uh, activities, just a reminder. We are doing the first part of that this morning. We are praying. You prayed the rosary before Mass, and little Francesca would have been happy because you remember the funny thing was he didn't see Mary at first. Uh, just sent him Maria saw him, but he said, uh, I can't see her. And she said, well, tell him he's got to pray the rosary. He'll see me then. So you've already prayed the rosary. You've prayed in the Mass here, and so we got that half of it done. Now when we go out, what we experience today, if it's any type of inconvenience or hardship, allow that to be penance for our own salvation and salvation of the world, so that more and more people will return back to Jesus and will do what, is, uh, what He asks, honor His truth and His love by their actions. Y'all have a most blessed day today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick, or suffering in any way this day, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, we pray for those who are in hospitals, nursing homes, and the homebound and the homeless, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, we pray that the infant of Prague will continue to watch over and guide the finances of our parishes, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, and we pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in our church today. For all these needs from this one Catholic family, we pray to the Lord. Lord yeah, pray. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude, especially during this month of May, with a prayer and asking Mary's intercession. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. For to the earth and work of human hands it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work with human hands, who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our willing to the body of the church. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility, which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant, we pray, that it may be for us who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud ye yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, every earth our Lord of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come to glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him. O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the great sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy, Holy Michael, Michael the Archangel, defend us in God. God. Be our protection God. against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God be to him we humbly pray. And to you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praises protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, His only holy sacrament in the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in the soul. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, His angels, and His saints.